Welcome. In this video, I'm going to talk about setting up a Raspberry Pi 3 computer to boot from a USB drive. So there's a flag you can set in it that makes it so it can boot from a USB drive without using an SSD card. You do need an SSD card to set it up though. So if you find this video helpful, I'll put a link in the description to the Raspberry Pi on Amazon. I'll also put a link to the flash drive I'm using. And if you use those links, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. I'll also put a link to my Raspberry Pi playlist if you're interested in my other videos. So before I get started here, I'm going to benchmark the current drive. So to do that, I'm going to type dd space if, which is for in file, equals dev zero space out file or of equals temp dot txt space bs, which is byte size, equals one m space and then count equals 1024. And then we'll do o flag equals direct. That will keep it from using cache memory. So I'll hit enter. I'm going to speed the video up here. Okay, we got 20 megabytes per second. I'm going to change this now to make the temp file the in file, and then I'll make the out file dev null. And then I'll change the o flag direct to be the i flag direct. So for read, we got 23.3 megabytes per second. So I'm going to remove that temp file here. And the first step we need to do is we need to copy the contents of our current SD card onto the thumb drive. Oh, and I forgot to mention I'm using a SanDisk Extreme Pro. So I want to go to my Raspberry Pi icon, go to accessories and open up CD card copier. It says copy from device. I'll choose the internal micro SD card. I'm going to plug in the USB drive. I'll click cancel here on this little pop-up. I have to reselect it again. So here we have the Samsung flash drive and it says new partition UUIDs. So I'm going to choose yes on this. This gives it a unique ID otherwise you can't ever put these in the same system. I'll hit start and we'll copy it over. So this will take a while. I'm going to speed up the video here. Okay, the copy is complete, so I'll hit OK, and I'll close this. Now I'll open up a terminal. I'll type sudo space nano space forward slash boot forward slash config dot txt. I'll hit enter. I'll scroll down here. You could put this anywhere. I'm just going to put it at the bottom. You want to type program underscore USB underscore boot underscore mode equals one. So what this will do is this will enable your Raspberry Pi to boot from the flash drive. So when you do this, um, you can take this out later because it permanently sets that flag in your Raspberry Pi so it will always uh, allow it to boot from the USB drive. And it will boot from the USB drive first. So if you have a system on the USB drive, it will boot from that, otherwise it will boot from the micro SD card. I'll type control O to save, control X to exit, now I'll reboot the Raspberry Pi. I'll just type sudo reboot, enter. Okay, the drive has booted. Okay, so if I open up a terminal and type df space dash h, you can see here we have 29 gigabytes for dev root. So that's the SD card, it was a 32 gig card. And the flash drive is 128 gigabytes. So that's this down here, this SDA one and two. So what I want to do is now I'm going to shut down since that flag is set and I'll remove the micro SD card and I'll boot back up. Okay, so the drive is booted there. I changed the desktop background because it makes the video compress a little bit easier. So now I'll benchmark this like I did the previous one. So now I'll run the other test. Okay, so I sped those up. So on the micro SD card, we got 20.8 megabytes per second write and 23.3 megabytes per second read. And on this flash drive, we got 28 megabytes per second write and 30 megabytes per second read. So we got about seven megabytes per second increase on read and write. So these aren't super fast, but it is faster than running it off the SD card. So if you're looking for speed on a Raspberry Pi 3, I think this is a good method to use. I'm using USB 3.0 flash drive. It works with this, it, it you know goes back to USB 2 protocol, 
but you might as well use that because it's more useful in the future for something and you're gonna max out whatever speed of your USB is. So, so that's all for this video. If you have any questions about this, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.